Stood with the managing director of Matchroom Sport, Eddie Hearn. Uh, the biggest news that's come out in sport for quite a long time. Uh, this could potentially be the biggest and best British boxing match ever. Well, let's hope so. I've just got back from the press conference. I'm still shaking a little bit. I was behind our man at one stage. I was, I was expecting it all to go off there and then. But no, very excited. Um, the Battle of Britain, whatever you want to call it, you know, two British heavyweights battling it out and uh, it's going to be a huge night. Yeah, for, you, for the, those guys out there, David here and Audley Harrison getting it on in November. November the 13th, MEN Arena. Mm -hmm. um, old friends, now enemies, yep. don't like each other at all, right. fallen out. It's a great story, Audley Harrison, former Olympic champion, slated years and years and now resurrected, mm -hmm. uh, shot at the heavyweight championship of the world mm -hmm. against a young, you know, Great young fighter, David Hay. Yeah. Got a lot of respect for him, and uh, we can't wait. Would we class this as Audley's final chance? I think so, yeah. I mean, it's his only chance, mm. really. That it, his only chance he's ever had at, to win a world title. Mm. He's always believed that it's his destiny to win a heavyweight championship, and you know he's got his haters, and he's got people who don't believe he deserves it, or yeah. what have you. But the Audley I know has, has done a good job to come back from the bottom of the well yeah. to get this shot, and he's grafted, he's worked hard, mm. and he, he deserves it. And let's hope he can produce the goods. Well, the thing was, when he won the gold medal at the Olympics, it was it was Audley Harrison was going to conquer the world. Mm. The worst thing any fighter can do is run into money early in their career. You know, you need a fighter to be able to run through walls for you. To, to sweat blood and when you turn pro with a million pound contract it's very difficult to, mm. to, to go and, and do that yeah. so I think he needed to lose it all and he needed to, to really fail before he could achieve and he's done that mm. and he's come back and now he's in a great position and you know everyone knows in the boxing world that David Hay has got a weak chin he is a cruiserweight he's yeah. been put down plenty of times and Audley Harrison can punch mm. so whatever you think of about, about Audley Harrison he will always have a puncher's chance to win this MEN Arena, is it big enough? What do you do not outside? We'd Emirates? like to, but November's too, November you can't have it outside, it's too cold. Right, okay. So, you know, barring a, a, a covered roof, we have to have it inside and MEN is the biggest. If we were two months earlier, yeah. Emirates, White Hart Lane, yeah, Wembley, yeah. I mean, it sells 40 or 50,000 tickets. Instantly. We're instantly. This, this will sell out by the end of this week. Mm. Tickets on sale? Tickets go on sale tonight. Uh, it's going to be busy. <laughs> will be, will be, will be. <laughs> when the news came out, we saw, the, we saw the conference, we were actually watching the conference on TV, uh, you said fireworks might have happened. Mm. Uh, did they go the separate ways after the conference and that was it? Yeah, they did. Um, I, th I don't think David Hay expected Audley to get under his skin like he did. I haven't seen it on TV yet, mm. but David was rattled. Audley was rattled as well. Yeah, but, yeah. but David, they both like to be centre of attention and that's not physically possible mm. in this fight because they've both got so much to say. Yeah. So they're going to get on each other's to toes, they're going to get in each other's faces. They're on GMTV tomorrow morning on the same couch. <laughs> they're on Soccer AM on Saturday on the same couch. Right. I mean, you know, uh, that's why the security will be on standby throughout because they're going to niggle, niggle, niggle and, and something's going to go. Yeah. November 13th. Don't miss it. MEN Arena. Greatest it? comeback story of all time. Fantastic, thanks for speaking. No problem. Cheers, Eddie.